Let's go live now to Belfast. I'm joined by the DUP's Nelson McCausland. He is a former minister in the Northern Ireland Sem uh, Assembly. Uh, sir, welcome to the programme. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Uh, I, I say relative obscurity in the introduction to you there. I should say that that's on an international scale, of course. I don't mean within Northern Ireland politics itself. Uh, but as far as this deal is concerned with the Conservative Party in Westminster, is it on the table definitely? And what are your conditions for any kind of deal to go through? Well, the announcements that have been made so far by both Theresa May and the leader of the Democratic Unionist Party, Arlene Foster, their statements have been very positive and encouraging. And I would hope that uh, by tomorrow we'd know that uh, a deal had been indeed agreed uh, and that there was an understanding between the two parties so that the 10 members of the uh, DUP who are in the Westminster Parliament will be able to give their support uh, to Theresa May. Well, we did have mixed messages over the, the weekend. On the one hand, uh, my apologies, sir. We did have these mixed messages over the weekend when, on the one hand, the, the government in Westminster was saying that a deal had been, uh, at least an, out, an outline deal, had been agreed upon. And then the DUP said, well, actually, no, we haven't reached any agreement yet. Are you effectively holding Theresa May and the Conservative Party to ransom? Well, I think in many political processes there are misunderstandings, and that was the case at the weekend. But I think it's fairly clear now that uh, there will be a meeting between Theresa May and Arlene Foster tomorrow, and then uh, hopefully um, the deal uh, between the two, the understanding that has been reached, um, will be announced. The DUP, your party, anti-abortion, anti-same-sex marriage, climate change deniers, are you surprised at all that many people in Westminster and across the UK at large are concerned about a deal between the Tories and your party? Well, the, the DUP is generally a socially conservative party. There would be differences of opinion on some matters such as climate change. But on other issues, uh, there would be unanimity. And it is socially conservative. But there are people within Theresa May's own party, uh, amongst her backbenchers, who are also socially conservative. And at the end of the day, those are not matters that will arise in the course of this uh, conversation, because in Northern Ireland, those matters are devolved from Westminster down to the Northern Ireland Assembly. They're dealt with here in Belfast, and therefore they wouldn't arise uh, in the course of these discussions. Yeah, they're devolved issues, and we, of course we understand that, sir, but they are still broad principles uh, which will leave many people across the United Kingdom very, very uncomfortable about any kind of deal. And um, My question to you, though, is about Brexit. Is your uh, argument with the, the Tory party to say that we want a seat at the negotiating table when it comes to Brexit? Well, first of all, as regards um, public opinion, there's a wide range of opinion on social issues. Some people are more liberal, some are more conservative. Um, it's a free society and therefore there are different opinions. And that's true of people within Theresa May's own party. Um, as regards the um, discussions and uh, debate regarding um, the uh, entry or exit from the European Union and as regards uh, the process of that, um, I I'm not aware of um, what the uh, details are uh, of that discussion. I think it will be uh, after uh, that meeting tomorrow that those would be announced. I'm not aware of uh, what requirements, what conditions have been set by Arlene Foster. But it is important for Northern Ireland uh, how the United Kingdom leaves the European Union. Uh, the DUP was a Brexit party. It uh, believed in leaving the European Union, reclaiming sovereignty back to the United Kingdom. But we do have a situation whereby there is a land border between Northern Ireland and the Irish Republic. And therefore, it's important because people live on uh, one side of the border, perhaps, and yet work on the other, or there's movement backwards and forwards. There would be all sorts of issues that arise at that border. And it's helpful for people there if we have as uh, more as... Um, I suppose it's easy a, a, a passage across the border as possible. Um, yeah, so and we should just remind our, our viewers, of course, to, uh, sir, as well, sure. that the reason we're talking about the land border is because in the event of a Brexit, when the UK leaves the European Union, the only land border then with the UK and the EU would, of course, between, be between Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland. Unfortunately, we have to leave be it there, that. sir, but thank you very much indeed.